in this video we are going to solve the particle equilibrium problem what you see here is a rope and pulley arrangement and this block is supported by this system of pulleys and the rope and we have to find the mass of this block given the tension in the cable section AB is 200 kilo newtons so what should be the approach to solving this problem well the first step is to break the problem into two parts so that it becomes easier to handle each of the parts because that becomes little simpler to deal with the next step is to consider equilibrium of this point B of the cable and the purpose in doing so is to find the tension in the cable section BD the tension in the cable section AB is known at this point I would like to clarify one important point and that is this cable AB DE could be a single cable but it is subjected to force like this at point B it is lifted up by this pulley and it is subjected to a downward force at point D and therefore the tension will not be the same throughout the length of the cable it will be different at different sections of the cable unlike the cable which wraps around the pulley here this is a single cable which runs around the two pulleys and the tension here throughout the length of the cable would be the same but that is not the case in the cable a b d e the tensions in these sections will be different so by considering equilibrium of point b we shall be able to find the tension in this section and then the next step would be to consider equilibrium of point d and then find out the force let's say the force p which acts downwards on the cable here the same force is the force which pulls up the pulley system here and we are interested in finding out p so that in the next step we will be able to find the mass of this block w so as i said before we will first consider equilibrium of point b of the cable and before doing so let us first make a free body diagram so this is the free body diagram of point b and what you notice is that the tension force acting along the cable section ab is tab similarly the tension along the cable section bd is tbd the cable is also being pulled up by this pulley and so we have shown a force some arbitrary force f acting along the y axis in vertical direction we are not interested in finding out the magnitude of this force we are more interested in finding out the magnitude of the tension force tbd let us first using geometry decide the length of the cable sections this distance is 12 centimeter this is 9 centimeter therefore ab would be 15 centimeter this is from right angle triangle similarly this distance is 12 centimeter this is 5 centimeter therefore this length bd would be 13 centimeter and from this right angle triangle we can find out that the length of cable section de is 8.5 given this side equal to 4 centimeter and this side equal to 7.5 centimeter so we consider two equations sum of forces acting at point b in x direction and sum of forces acting in y direction would be zero so the first equation that we have is sigma fx equal to zero and that would mean component of tbd along x axis would be tbd cos beta and component of this along x axis would be minus tab cos theta equal to zero 
but we take this component on the right hand side therefore the equation that we will have is t b d cos beta equal to t a b cos theta and therefore t b d would be equal to t a b cosine theta upon cosine beta and t a b is 200 kilo newtons cos theta is 12 upon 15 and similarly cosine of beta would be this angle also is beta and therefore cosine of beta would be 5 upon 13 and that is in the denominator. So, therefore, we will have the factor 13 upon 5. So, T B D will simplify to 200 times 52 upon 25 kilo newtons. Now, we will not be interested in, in considering the equation sigma f y equal to 0 because we are not interested in finding out the magnitude of this force and what we were interested in finding out the magnitude of T B D and that we already found here. So, next we will consider the equilibrium of point D and now since we know the tension here in this cable section, we will be able to find the force P which is acting downwards and pulling this cable at point D. So, here is the free body diagram of point D and we have the two cable tension forces T D E acting along this direction making an angle of alpha degrees with x axis and the force T B D making an angle beta with the x axis and we have as I said before a force called P acting downwards which is nothing but the force exerted by the pulleys on the cable here at point D. This is point D. We know this, this tension force, we do not know this and we do not know the magnitude of this force, but with these two equations sigma f x equal to 0 and sigma f y equal to 0, we will be able to find these two unknowns. So, let us first write the equation sigma f x equal to 0 for x direction and that would be equal to the component of T d e along x axis would be equal to component of T B D along x axis. So, we have this equation T D E cos alpha equal to T B D cos beta which will simplify to T D E is equal to T B D cosine beta upon cosine alpha and T B D we already found out here. So, we just substitute it here cos beta is 5 upon 13 to this term here and cosine alpha is in the denominator which is 7.5 upon 8.5. So, we have this term here and this will simplify the right hand side will simplify to 200 times 4 upon 5 times 8.5 upon 7.5 kilo newtons. Well, our goal is not to find T D E, but using this T D E we will be able to find the force P in which we are more interested. So, we are going to need the second equation sigma f y equal to 0. So, let me make some room, I will I'll rub this off top part and write the second equation. So, here we have the second equation of equilibrium sigma f y equal to 0 for y axis and now you can see that the component of T B D along y axis plus component of T D E along y axis will be equal to the force P which is acting downwards along the y direction. In other words P is equal to T D E sin alpha plus T B D sin beta and T D E we already found out here below it is equal to this much times sin alpha which is 4 upon 8.5. So, we have this term here plus T B D which we found in the previous screen is 200 times 52 upon 25 times sin beta which is 12 upon 13. So, 
P is equal to this term and this will simplify to 200 times 16 upon 37.5 plus 200 times 48 upon 25 and this will further simplify to 469.33 kilonewtons. So, this is an important result that we have found out. Now, we are going to consider equilibrium of the second part of the whole system of rope and pulleys and by considering the equilibrium of the system of these two pulleys and the force P that is acting at this point in upward direction, we shall be able to find out the mass of this block. So, now we are going to consider equilibrium of the pulleys and what you see here is free body diagram of pulley P1 which is the top pulley and free body diagram of the bottom pulley here. In order to draw the FBD of the pulleys, we have to cut the ropes at these points in order to isolate it and therefore, we shall expose the tension forces T here, T here because it is a single cable which runs all throughout and therefore, the tension throughout the length of the cable would be same as that of T and we have to make a cut here and once we do that, the force P which is acting in upward direction will get exposed and that is what has been shown here. Notice that in the earlier FBD of the cable, the force P was acting in vertically downward direction and now here the force the same magnitude P on the pulleys acting in upward direction because they form the action reaction pairs. Similarly, in order to isolate this pulley P2, we have to make a cut here thereby exposing the tension forces T acting at these two points and let us say the weight of this block is W. So, a force W acting at this point will get exposed. So, therefore, W which is the weight of the block is acting in downward directions. These two tension forces are acting in upward directions. Now, we can write the equations of equilibrium for pulley P1. P is equal to 3T. P is equal to 3T. Therefore, T is equal to P upon 3 and P we found out in the previous slide was equal to 469.33 kilonewtons. So, divided by 3 would yield T equal to 156.44 kilonewtons. And from this pulley, we see that the weight W is equal to 2T and therefore, W will be equal to 313.88 kilo newtons. And since we have to find the mass, we divide this weight by G and therefore, we get the mass of the block as 313.88 upon 9.8. The numerator is in kilo newtons, the denominator is in meters per second square and therefore, this will be equal to 32,000 kilograms and that is our answer. So, mass of the block is 32,000 kilograms. I hope you like the solution to this problem and if you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching again and see you in the next video. Thank you.